And we all think he's joking, right? The nigga was not joking. It go from a little no, no, to the nigga damn near screaming in terror. He told him, no, don't come near me. Family, you already know it's your boy Dot back with another bu 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 banging ass video. Before we get into it, y'all already know what to do, man. Come on, say it with me now. Don't make me say it. Say it with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at guapboyg dot and Twitter at guapboyg dot. All the links for all my social media are gonna be in the description below, including for my gaming channel. You definitely gonna want to tune in to that one for sure. Ski. Definitely wanna go over there and subscribe, hit the notification bell for that too, cause I'm beating niggas ass on everything daily, like I'm streaming daily, my guy. So go follow me on Twitch too at guapboyg dot, cause if you wanna get some hot L's in y'all timeline, not me catching hot L's, but giving hot L's out, definitely gonna wanna follow my Twitch, subscribe to my YouTube channel right there. You feel me? Don't tweak on that. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I ain't gonna lie, this story time is a little crazy, bro, because I don't even know what the f*** made us do this. I don't know why we thought this was a good idea. I don't know why we did this out of town. Like, we were in a hotel full of girls that we went to school with. We could have been trying to sneak them in a room. We could have been trying to go to their room. We could have been trying to sneak out, go to, you feel me, anywhere in ATL. But we decided to do this dumbass. Don't know why we did it, but let's just get into the story so y'all know what was going on. So this takes place eighth grade year, and eighth grade year was a cool ass year for me. It was the year I was gonna graduate, go to high school, of course, lost my virginity, got my first kiss, did a whole lot of stuff, you feel me? Got my first juke, had my first juke party, all types of stuff you dig what I'm saying? Like I was really living life. But to cap it all off, at the end of the year, we had a little eighth grade excursion, you dig what I'm saying? So this was an excursion. We was from to go from Chicago to Atlanta, have a college tour in Atlanta, then go to goddamn Ohio to go to Cedar Point. If you ain't been to Cedar Point, I would advise going way better than Six Flags. Go to Cedar Point, then go all the way back to goddamn Chicago. That was a plan, it was a good ass plan. I'm looking like, I got to go. You feel what I'm saying? It's my eighth grade excursion trip. Everybody got an eighth grade excursion trip. It looks like they went above and beyond for us. Cause I ain't gonna lie, a lot of people don't be having like, what? A lot of people ain't going to Atlanta for no goddamn eighth grade trip and then going to college tours, then going places in Atlanta, then going to goddamn Cedar Point. Cedar Point, they didn't have to go to Cedar Point, okay? That was over the top. Niggas did not have to go to Cedar Point. And they had the two big ass mega buses to take us there. Hey, sign me up right now, I'm going. I'm thinking it's gonna be a ball, nigga. I'm thinking we finna ball, ball. Shut the hell up! Shut up! Now, for real, I don't think it's gonna be a ball, though. For real, no cap. I'm thinking like all the hoes gonna go. It's gonna be a damn thought around on that mother. I'm thinking like, you feel me? The teacher's school, they ain't gonna care too much. I know we ain't gonna drink or smoke because we ain't every grade, like clearly, but I'm thinking like it's gonna be busting. So I'm like, hell yeah, pops, mama. Sign me up, I gotta go right now. Come on, get that permission slip signed, let me go. I think we had to pay like $200 to go or something. That's not shit. That's not shit. $200 to go and they gave me a little spending money on the side. Like it wasn't a lot, it was probably like $100, but shit. That's cool for me, I'm in eighth grade. I ain't got nothing to spend this money on anyway. Come on, now I'm be on a bus most of the time. I'm cool. So everything was good, you feel me? Got the permission slip signed, got the money turned in. So on the day we were supposed to leave, I almost came up late because we went to McDonald's to get some food and nigga was taking all day in the line, but we instantly left, you feel me? Had to honk honk, get the fuck out the way, nigga. Had to get him out the way, get my food and skirt to the school real quick. So after that, I pull up to the school, everybody put their stuff under the bus, we get in the bus and we take off. Now I ain't gonna lie, when we take off, bro, is a long ass ride. From the middle of Chicago, from goddamn like 47, 48th, bro, all the way to Atlanta? 48th and College Grove to Atlanta, my nigga? That's a long ass drive, my guy. I ain't gonna cap. I wasn't prepared for that ride. I ain't had no neck pillow. I had some headphones, but you feel me? I had a bogus phone at the time. I think I had an Android. I wasn't pimping like that. So most of the time on the bus, I'm asleep. I ain't gonna cap. Like, I'm asleep. I'm in front of the bus, sleep. You feel me? Because I ain't really f***ing with most of these niggas on the bus. Like, they cool, but I ain't really all buddy-buddy with most of these niggas. I want to fight a couple of these niggas at this point. So after that long-ass bus ride, I want to say like at least 12 hours on that bus, we finally pull up to Atlanta. Pull up at the hotel. I ain't gonna lie, it's bus and shit. I see everybody face, they all happy and shit. And we got a decent hotel in like the middle of Atlanta, bro. I'm like... It's a go. Cause I'm already hearing a couple rumors about some girls. They trying to do some stuff on the bus. They was trying to do some stuff in the room. It was one girl I was trying to get on that with. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm feeling like, yeah, it's gonna go down. I ain't lose my virginity yet, but I'm feeling like I'm gonna lose it on this trip. Fuck the summertime. I'm gonna lose it right now, today. So after we pull up to the goddamn hotel, everybody get off the bus, everybody get their stuff, everybody go to their room. Everybody was rooming with like people. So it was like four people to a room, I think. So everybody was in a room, four people, you know, girls stay with girls, boys stay with boys. I don't think girls and boys on the same floor. They separated really tough. Like there was a lot of rules too. You could not be in the same room as a girl, like after hours. You couldn't be walking around the hotel. You couldn't leave the hotel. And there was a lot of chaperones just monitoring everything that was going on. And I ain't gonna lie, they was cool at school. But when they got here, nigga, they was on dirt, not playing. They saw your ass walking after hours on your ass. 
Slay your ass and leave on your ass. Caught you with a girl on your ass. Like, it's no games at all. So, the first night we get there, after we figure out all the rules, there's gonna be some bullshit. Ain't nothing to really do. We can't finesse the rules on the first night. We gotta figure out what's going on. So, the second, third night, that's when some stuff started to go down. But I'm gonna make a whole completely different story about that one. So, you know, the first night we all in the room, it was me and a couple niggas I knew. I wasn't really cool with them niggas, but I was cool enough to be in the room with them. Like, I ain't really tripping. They ain't on shit. I ain't on shit. We were cool. We were talking, having conversation, you know, FaceTime with a couple hoes. And I don't know how this came up, but a nigga was like, let's try sleep paralysis. So, I didn't know what the f that was. Everybody said it was basically like you go to sleep and you just see stuff. Like, it's kind of cool, kind of have an outer body experience. I didn't know what the hell it was. I was junk as hell. I ain't never had nothing like that happen to me before. But I'm bored as hell. I'm in the crib. Ain't nothing else to do right now. I'm in a room full of niggas. They on the phone with some hoes. And everybody's saying, let's do it. So I'm like, fuck it, bro. I ain't got nothing else going right now. I'll do it. I'll go first. I'll go ahead and see what it's talking about. So here's what you got to do to have a sleep paralysis moment. You got to lay down. And they say you got to lay down, but you got to like be awake, but your eyes got to be closed. Like your mind is awake, but your body is asleep. So that way you really can't move your body because your body is asleep. So they say just lay there for like 10, 15 minutes and have your eyes closed, but don't say nothing, don't move, just have your mind open. Kind of like meditating, you see what I'm saying? But it's like you trying to go to sleep paralysis, you did. You're trying to take it there. So that's what I was doing. I was cool, you know, I did it for like 10, 15 minutes. And I was sitting there for a minute and I'm just like, man, ain't shit going on, bro. I'm not feeling tired. I don't feel nothing happening. So after 10 minutes, I'm like, next, who turn is it, bro? I ain't feeling nothing. This ain't doing nothing for me. I ain't having no outer body experience. This is boring. I ain't safe to lay here and fake sleep while all y'all watch me and got the camera on me like something's supposed to happen. Like I'm supposed to jump up like this is an exorcism or some shit. So I'm like, nah, bro. I ain't really feeling that right now. I ain't with that, you know? No, we're not doing that. So I'm like, next. Who gonna do it after me? So the nigga that did it after me, his name was W. I'm just gonna say his name was W. W was a little bigger than everybody, and he was kind of a hothead, so he felt like he had to do it to prove something to the hoes and shit, and prove something to the people that was in the room. So he go down and do the same thing that I did. Now, mind you, after he did the same thing I did, five to 10 minutes later, this nigga was tweaking, bro. Like, he kind of shaking his shit. He like, no, no. And we all like, what the hell? We laughing, thinking he's joking or something. Like, this nigga crazy. What the hell wrong with this nigga? He saying, no, no. Like, get your lame ass hoe, what? And we all think he joking, right? The nigga was not joking. It go from a little no, no, to the nigga damn near screaming in terror. He talking about, no, don't come near me. Don't come near me, I swear to God. No cap, like, he acting like he see somebody. He keeps talking about, get away from me, get away from me. And he keeps shaking like this, like he having a seizure or something. So I'm like, what the f I'm looking at him, I'm looking at everybody else, and everybody don't seem to be as worried as I'm worried. Cause I'm looking like, this nigga a little bigger than everybody, so if he lose his mind this month, Gone. <laughs> I'm running out the room, you dig what I'm saying? I'm not playing with y'all ass. But they on the phone with the hoes, and the hoes don't keep thinking this shit is funny, bro. I'm like, this shit ain't funny, bro. This nigga is tweaking. So he go from shaking and having seizures to he get up and he start walking around, but his eyes is still closed. And it's like he trying to get away from somebody. He keeps saying, leave me alone. No, don't come near me. Don't come near me. That's all he keeps saying. So I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? So he ended up getting up and moving around. While he moving around, he fell on the floor and like he rolling on the floor. He's like, no, leave me alone. So I'm like, I don't know what else to do right now. I'm like, I gotta wake this nigga up. So I start shaking him a little bit. That don't help. He think I'm the demon. He starts screaming even more. So I get some water. I pour it on his face. That don't really help at all. The nigga's still in it. Deep. Still in it. So after I pour the water on his face, I don't know what to do. I'm just like, man, it's over with. Ain't nobody else really trying to help me. Everybody else, like, they worry, but they don't know what to do. So I'm just kind of like, fuck. Now, he gonna wake up eventually. Like, I don't know. We making sure he's straight. Ain't nothing super bad gonna happen. So we always kind of watching him tweak out his fast out. It's kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of funny. But it's kind of scary at the same time. So after like another three, four minutes of him doing that, he ended up getting back on the bed. I don't know how he knew his way around, but the nigga eyes closed the whole time. Like, closed shut. Shut, nigga. Like, he didn't see a damn thing. I'm watching him. So he get back on the bed. You know, by the bed, there's this little phone. You know, you can call down to the front desk or call different rooms and stuff. This nigga must have took that phone and threw it at the wall hard as hell, like, with all his force. He said, leave me alone. And he threw it. And I'm just like, my nigga, you're going to get us in trouble, bro. You're doing too much now. You're screaming. You're throwing shit. You're cap, okay? You're cap. I don't know what the f made you do that. It's like he threw it in some with perfect aim too. He threw it with all his force. So I'm like, whatever he's seeing is super real, super vivid right now. I don't want no parts of that. I want nothing to do with that. Hey, bro, just keep me out of that shit. I'm glad it didn't happen to me, bro. I'm so happy nothing like that happened to me. I don't. Even, I feel stupid for even attempting to do something like that. Like, thank God nothing happened to me, my nigga. Thank God. But after like another 10, 15 minutes of him tweaking like that, he didn't throw nothing else. He was just screaming a little bit. You feel me? Shaking a little more. But after like 15 minutes, he kind of snapped out of it like nothing happened. He woke up and he was looking at us. He was like, damn, bro, that shit was crazy. I was like, what happened? We was all like, what the f was going on? 
He was like, he thought he saw the devil, bro. He said he saw the devil and the devil was chasing him around and stuff. And then after that, he just went to sleep like everything was cool. Hey, my guy, if I saw the devil, if I saw the devil in my dreams and like, feel me? Hey, I'm getting out the hotel and call my people to come get me right now. So I'm glad that ain't happened to me because I would have went on first flight back to Chicago, my nigga. Not playing with y'all ass, y'all cap. But that was the only time that happened while we was out there, you feel me? Nobody ever really talked about it. The only people that know about it for real is me and the other two people that were in our room and phone them, of course, because it happened to him. But that's something no one ever talked about. No one ever knows about that. And honestly, bro, do not try to get sleep paralysis, bro. It's crazy as hell. It's not a good experience. For real, you're gonna lose your mind trying to do some shit like that. That's the stuff nightmares are made out of. We don't wanna have nightmares. We wanna have positive dreams. So don't do it, bro. And if you do ever have sleep paralysis, just stay calm. It's not real. Just stay calm. If you're screaming and all that stuff, it's not gonna make it worse. It's gonna make people really worried about you. Just try to stay calm and try to think happy thoughts to get out your head, please. Happened to me once, you feel me? I thought happy thoughts, you feel me? Close my eyes a little bit, I was good. But that's the end of the story time, G.Dot family. If you like the story time, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at guapboyg.dot and Twitter at guapboyg.dot. All the links about my social media are gonna be in the description below. Without further ado, we out.